Welcome to Off the Hook, On the Plate. My name is Josie Lanzi, and you know it. It's another beautiful day here in the sunshine state of Florida, and I'm going to take you out fishing with me, hopefully bring home that fresh catch of the day, and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can come back here and get cooking. Well, we're heading out. It's another beautiful day. It's supposed to be two feet or less and five to ten knots on the wind, so we're going to head out. Um, 30 mile spot. Hopefully we bring home a cooler full and uh, I'll share with you another off the hook recipe later on. Well we're here and we're just setting the anchor and my gosh it can't get any calmer than this. Check it out. I mean it's really calm. It's gonna be an awesome fishing day, so let's get fishing. What we got here, Brent? Pretty. Oh, look at it. Let me see. Let me get closer. Oh, look how pretty. Look at that blue by the eye there. I don't think we can eat that. We better send it back. It's pretty, though. They're good. It's too small. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Maybe next one. Slow over here, but we're catching different stuff today. Look at this cutie little pie. Well, at least we know we got red grouper down there now. Whew. It's a slow, slow day and a calm, calm day. All right, you're going back, buddy. <laughs> what we got here, Brent? Check it out, check it out. Amber Jack. Oh, look at him. He's fat. You know, we need to measure this one. We need to measure this. Check it out, check it out. Ooh, that's nice. Bring it up, bring it up. Ooh, we got to check it. He's heavy. We got to check it, check it out. Check it out. Amber Jack, guys. I got to measure this one. Let me get the stick. Well, another gag. Nice one. The other ones was even nicer. Gotta go back. Darn. Are you kidding me? Another amberjack? Yeah. Holy macaroni! Check it out! Check it out! Check it out! Bring it on the boat, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Look at that fight! Woo -hoo! <laughs> check it out! Check it out! <laughs> check it out, baby! Check it out! Nice! Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> what do you got? It's giving me a fire ticket to number Jack. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come and see, there it is, there it is. That's another one. Check it out, check it out. Oh, he's a big one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you get that? Well, guys, it was a beautiful fishing day. We got quite a bit in the cooler. Gotta love those amberjacks, boy. They sure are a good fight. Brent's pulling up the anchor and we're just gonna head in. And as you can see, it's still pretty calm out here. So can't get much better than a fishing day than this. And I'll see you back at the house and we'll create yet another off the hook, on the plate recipe. See you there. And we're gonna fillet the amberjack just like we would a grouper. And I'm going to have him leave the skin on, one of them, as I'm going to smoke it tomorrow. And let me see that flesh there and see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just going to remove the inside there and the ribs, and it's going to be good to go. Nice. Okay, what we have here is that amberjack filleted. Um, actually, the skin is mostly removed. You just go back if you have a little bit left and just use your fillet knife and... And you see here how red it is in the middle. Well, dead in the center, you will feel bones. And that's the back spine bones. And it goes all the way from the top to the bottom. Very end of the fillet like this. So you just want to cut them out. You feel them. Just go along right along the side of them. And that takes them all out right there. Quite simple. You just pull them all out, and you see a lot of that red from the other side comes off. And you actually do want to take off the red. Uh, that tends to be a strong part. Um, just remove the most that you can. Um, if you have a little bit left, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, once you cook it, it actually turns white. And so it's a lot for looks also. And um, have a nice laid here. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I just like to trim what 
doesn't look uniform. And you flip it over and, and go over here and you see where the red is. I'm just going to go along like that and take that right off. Simple as that. Now we got a little bit of red here. Let's go along. This is the back of the skin that remains a little bit. And it's very thin skin, so it's kind of hard uh, initially to get it all off. But take your time and just take your fillet knife and just run it like so to get it off. And uh, simple as that. And you have a wonderful amberjack fillet. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, and that's it for filleting it. We're back in the kitchen with our fresh catch of the day, and today was that wonderful Grater Jack. I'm going to create for you a cucumber a strawberry salsa to go on top of this pan fried beautiful amber jack. To keep it simple, I'm going to start lightly salting it with sea salt on both sides. And that's it for prepping our fish. We're heading to the frying pan. All right, I have here on medium high heat one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. We're now going to add our grater amberjack. And I have about a pound's worth here. Okay, we're going to let this cook about five minutes, and then we'll flip it and cook it an additional three to four minutes. All right, it's been four minutes. I have a couple pieces that are a little smaller. They were the end of the fillet, and a couple pieces that are a little bit thicker, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and turn right now. It's just about four minutes, the smaller pieces, for this beautiful white fish. I'm going to wait an additional minute, and then turn over the larger pieces, and cook until the fish starts flaking. About three more minutes. All right, the fish is done cooking. I have it sitting right back here and we're going to put this strawberry and cucumber salsa together in no time. It's actually just five ingredients. Strawberries, cucumber, lime juice, fresh parsley, sea salt, and black pepper. And let's get started. I have here already peeled a regular cucumber. It's half of one and I'm going to cut it in half. And I want to remove the seeds from it. So to remove the seeds, I just take a small teaspoon and I'm just going to scrape the inside like this into this little bowl. Try not to make a mess. But remove all the seeds because that creates a lot of water. And we don't want any of that water. It's going to come out to approximately a cup of um, finely chopped cucumber. I want to do this for the other side and we'll start chopping. I'm cutting each pieces in four. I want to make um, fairly small cubes here and uh, pretty uniform. In the bowl it goes. Next we have some beautiful strawberries. Look at these beautiful strawberries I picked up today. Gorgeous. We're going to chop small about a cup on those also. Next, you want to chop some fresh parsley. We're going to add approximately a quarter cup chop. We're going to save some for garnish later. Chop that fine. There you go. Use about a quarter cup. And leave some for garnish. Bring your bowl over. And we're going to take our lime here. And we're going to Juice that lime juice. It's approximately going to come out to about a tablespoon. Some are juicier than others. I'm going to try to stretch actually this one to a tablespoon and a half. Oh yeah, it's pretty juicy for a small lime. Second one. There you go. Oh, it smells wonderful. I can't wait to taste it. All right, so we got all that lime juice in there, and I did get about a tablespoon and a half. A little sea salt, and a little cracked black pepper, and toss it all together. Look how beautiful and colorful it looks. It's going to be fabulous with this fish. 
All right, time to plate it. I have that beautiful piece of grater amberjack right here. Uh, you could certainly substitute this recipe with a beautiful cod. That would be wonderful. Uh, it's now time to top it with our strawberry and cucumber salsa. You just want to put a little bit all over the top like that. Look how beautiful this looks. Fabulous. Lime wedge on the top because that's part of our dish. I always like to top something on top there that shows what's inside. And we certainly did have a lot of that lime juice in there to tie everything in together. And voila! Yet another off the hook recipe. Cheers everyone! Yet it was another fabulous fun trip. I had a blast sharing my fishing trip with you and sharing yet another off the hook on the plate recipe. Do me a favor, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Try that recipe out, I guarantee you're gonna love it. So I'll see you back here next week for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.